America's largest maker of handmade candy. We've been doing it the old fashioned way for over 90 years because we love the process and the dedication it takes to make our classic candy. Every morning, I am so excited to come into the factory and see our candy being made. Pretty soon, you will understand why Hammond's Candies is so special, as history is being made right before your eyes. Before heading inside to see it for yourself, we wanted to give you a sweet trip back to where we got started, where we've been, and how, although we've grown from one employee to over 300, we've worked really hard to maintain the feel of a small, family-run business. Hammond's Candies was founded in 1920. When Carl T. Hammond used his experience working for other candy manufacturers and started his own company. The first factory was located at 15th and Platt. There he created his famous recipes, handcrafted the candy, and sold it in a small storefront. One thing that made Carl's ribbon candy, candy canes, and other hard candies stand apart was his belief that nothing is more important than quality. This philosophy helped him survive not only the Great Depression, but from competition worldwide. Some of the original equipment purchased by Carl is still used on the factory floor today. He bought the equipment from a traveling salesman, candy company that no longer needed the equipment, Amazon.com, his great-grandfather. The right answer is B. He bought the equipment from candy companies that no longer needed their machines. Ever the shrewd businessman, Carl saw the financial advantage of purchasing used equipment. Although now many of Carl's original machines are over 100 years old, some of the machines are hard to maintain and often impossible to find parts for, we still use them today because they make a higher quality candy and they are a constant reminder that our past is what drives our business. By the 1930s, Carl had developed and honed his candy-making skills to handcraft and sell over 150 varieties of sweets, from chocolates to hard candies. His favorite candy was one that was made by his close friend. Not only did he purchase the recipe, he named the candy after him. The Mitchell Sweet, a fluffy marshmallow wrapped in rich, buttery caramel, is one of our signature candies. And today, it has been in continual production at Hammond's for almost 90 years. For the amount of time it takes to make one Mitchell Sweet, you could drive a car from Denver to Lincoln, Nebraska, Los Angeles, California, New York City, and back nearly two times, or all the way around the Earth. The right answer is C. Denver to New York City and back nearly two times. There's a good reason why Hammonds has such a family feel today. From a very early age, Carl's two children were involved in the business. During the late 40s and 50s, Carl and his son Tom ran Hammonds together in a new, much bigger factory on 29th Avenue. Eventually, Tom and his wife June took over the company and continued to expand his demand for their candy group. Their five young children pitched in where they could, especially in the candy tasting department. Robin, their only daughter, her husband, Amory Dorsey, and June ran Hammonds after Tom passed away. The late 80s through the 90s saw big growth for Hammonds as expert candy maker Emery, along with Robin and June, continued the tradition of creating high quality handmade candy the same way it was made by Carl. After national media recognition, William Sonoma and others came calling. Huge orders were placed for hand twirled lollipops, freshly made almond toffee, and sweet peppermint pillows. The number of employees grew substantially and Hammond's went from a local candy company to a truly national brand. Every batch of lollipops we make starts off as a 70 to 90 pound batch.
To turn this batch into 1,000 lollipops, the cook must wait until it cools and then hit it with a large hammer. Ask everyone in the factory to stop what they're doing and run and help. Drop the bundle into the magic lollipop machine and then wait for them to come out the other end. Or pull, cut, and twist until the whole batch is gone. The right answer is D. Pull, cut, and twist until the entire batch is gone. When we say handmade, we mean it. In order to make candy at Hammond's, cooks must be trained anywhere from six months to two years. Once qualified, each cook makes at least five batches of candy per day, even more during the holiday season. They are responsible for their own batches from beginning to end, which means pulling, twisting, and cutting several thousand times per day. The national attention Hammonds was getting meant increased demands on holiday candy production, a cornerstone of the business since the beginning. In order to keep stockings filled, year-round Christmas candy production began. This, of course, requires special humidity-controlled warehouses to keep candy canes, ribbon candy, art candy, peppermint pillows, and other holiday candy fresh until the holidays, even if it was made in February. Candy canes get their brilliant colors from being pulled on the candy puller, which traps air and incorporates it into the candy to lighten the color and texture. The other important thing that happens while the candy is on the puller is flavoring is added. The cook takes a lunch break. Chocolate chips are added. The batch is taste tested. The right answer is A. The flavor is added. Only the center part of the candy is flavored, which happens when on the candy puller. It only takes 1.5 ounces to flavor an entire 70 pound batch. Strawberry, bubblegum, cinnamon, pomegranate, gingerbread, pumpkin pie, and birthday cake are just a few of the more than 30 candy cane flavors we make. The exact same way Carl did back when Hammonds began. In 1999, after a 79-year run and thousands of pounds of delicious candy, June and family decided it was time to sell the business. In came Ralph Nafziger and Partners, fresh out of Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. With their prior candy experience, Ralph and his team turned the company into the largest handmade hard candy manufacturer in the United States. Hammonds went from a local candy manufacturer to a truly national brand when Andrew Schumann, a candy lover with a similar entrepreneur zeal as Carl took over the company in 2007. Since then, the company has quadrupled and several nostalgic candy brands that fit within our culture and philosophy were acquired. Our purchase of Macross candies brought with it the top secret recipe of this company's famous flat taffy. In 2013, we were able to purchase Old Dominion Peanut Company, a 100-year-old company that is the largest maker of peanut brittle in the world. We have also recently increased production to include chocolate bars, cotton candy, and popcorn, as well as all natural versions of our most popular candy. Today, Hammond's candies are available at a wide range of national chains, as well as 3,500 mom and pops, and over 30,000 retail stores around the world. Now that you have a better idea of who we are and where we've been, it's time to see how it's done. Keep in mind, Every day is different on the Hammonds factory floor, so you'll only see a few different candies being made. Feel free to come back again so you can see how we make all of our yummy candies. Let's go see how handmade candy is made the Hammonds way.